remember back in the day in middle school where we wouldn't really care what we dressed, right? We would just wear basketball shorts everywhere at all times, even in the winter when it's literally like hailing outside. But we were middle schoolers, it didn't really matter. But nowadays, I still see a lot of people in college, in fact, just go to class and whatever they slept with, with the night before, or they just wear wrinkled or stained t-shirts or in fact, they just wear basketball shorts still to everything that they go to because it's comfortable, right? And yeah, sure, I guess it is your choice to do it. However, remember I gave you the challenge to become the best version of yourself in five years and fashion is definitely an important part to that goal. Think about the last fashionable person that you saw, right? It could be walking down the street or just a friend of yours. It doesn't really matter. Well, what did you think of that person again? Did you think they're just some normal person or did you actually like actively think about their fashion sense? Well, I'm sure you did or else you wouldn't be remembering them when I asked you to remember that person. And again, that just goes to show the importance of fashion because a fashionable person knows the importance of fashion and dressing well and style, not only for his own success, but he also knows that fashion can be an expression to, about himself to the entirety of the world on how that person lives their life. After all, if you don't care about the clothing on your back right now, then how can you care about bigger things in the future, such as your finances or relationships, right? If you literally can't care about something as simple as this. And I know some of you may not want to be sort of fashionable. You just want to be normal, but at the very least don't like wear gross clothing, right? With like stains or a bunch of wrinkles. And to be honest, Dressing well doesn't even really have to be that much of a chore. In fact, it's really, really simple and easy if you just want to get the basics down and if you just want to dress better than 90% of the population. I actually really like fashion, right? And I think it's very, very important, personally speaking. In fact, I added to, you know, one of the aspects of self-improvement, improving your fashion, even along the, you know, Powers of like improving your mental health or your physical health, right? Maybe not as important, but still up there. And I mean, to me personally, fashion is super important because it's the reason why I started all of this, right? Because, you know, in ninth grade, uh, I used to like dress like, you know, like a middle schooler, right? And one day in PE, I didn't have any athletic clothes to wear because I didn't wash them, I guess. So I decided to wear a very nice pink or salmon colored, um, you know, dress pant sort of or short something like that I don't really know and a white polo and I got my first ever compliment that wasn't about like oh you're so smart or whatever like that and it felt just so so good that I wanted to improve how I dressed and not only did I want to improve how I dressed I wanted to actually like build up a good body because not only is dressing important but having a good body as a good foundation for the clothing is equally as important, if not more, right? Because I mean, this is just a piece of cloth. The shape of your body is what really, really matters. And, you know, because of that, I got into this whole self-improvement thing. And then I'm here sitting, talking in front of my phone camera, telling you on how you can become the best version of yourself. So I hold a, like a special place in my heart with like fashion and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully I can impart that passion into you. You know, out of a thousand men surveyed, 60% of them who tuck in their shirts, right? Reported that they make, you know, they're happier in their jobs. 19% of them report that they make more money. 8% report that they actually dated more. So yeah, correlation doesn't equal causation, right? Just because you're tucking in your shirt doesn't mean you're instantly gonna make more money. You're instantly gonna get a girlfriend, right? But it is still a pretty interesting statistic. So let's just talk about it for a little bit. I mean, why is this the case? Well, what I think is, like I said before, if you care about what you dress, you care more about other things in your life, even the smaller details. Because again, if you don't care about the clothing on your back, how can you care about relationships with other people or your job all too well? I mean, to me, it seems pretty self-explanatory on why you should care about your clothing and how it relates to your improvement in life in general. But let's talk about the dating part, right? That's pretty simple. Um, I mean, it's fine if you feel this way, because I feel like a lot of people in like the fashion world, I guess, or people who just dress up, they say like, oh, I just do it for myself. I don't, 
do you like set at home with like a dress or like a suit on like come on now just be honest and authentic with yourself of course you're gonna want attention that's why you dress i mean it may not be attention from you know the gender that you like but i mean just attention in general right and yeah that's totally a fair feeling to have and honestly that may have been one of the reasons why i started i mean it's been like four years so who knows <laughs> the biggest most significant thing about dressing well and that is the first impression that you get because you know a lot of people are like searching up how to get good first impressions and whatever they want right whether it be job interviews dates or something like that well here is the biggest factor or here's the like the only factor that leads to first impressions or good first impressions it's simply the shape of your body and the clothes you wear simple as that because i mean think about it right most of the time you aren't just gonna be there and just somebody's face is just gonna spawn in front of you like that and you won't be able to see their face no, no you're gonna see them from like a couple meters off right and what you're gonna see is their height you know their relative weight or size and the shape of their body do they have like a v taper which is pretty attractive or are they a bit tubbier you know and then the next thing you're gonna see is the clothes that they wear so all of those factors are gonna to lead to a uh, first impression so it's important that you have a good you know sense of style a good body shape because all of that leads to a good first impression so enough with all the importance of dressing well so how can you dress well like i mentioned before it's quite simple it doesn't take that much brain power and in fact in this video i'm not actually gonna tell you how to dress right in fact because you can really dress in any way that you want Okay, try not to dress in, you know, try not to underdress or overdress too much because, I mean, if there are certain dress codes, then you want to stick to the dress codes, right? But this is applying to 99% of life. Just dress however you want to dress. However, dress in the best way in your sort of fashion sense, your fashion style that you have. So what I mean by that is sort of get your style, whether it be things such as athleisure, menswear, wearing like suits and ties or whatever, or just wearing sort of rugged clothing to get that rugged look. You can really pick any style that you want. And if you don't know any style, I mean, you can search it up on Google about, you know, certain menswear styles. Okay, to be fair, you're gonna get more of the fancier ones with those coats and suits and, you know, flannels and all that kind of stuff. So you may be getting a little bit skewed data, but I mean, you can do your own research with enough research you can Find your own style. Pinterest is a good place to look. Google, like I said, and just first find your style. The next step is to buy clothes from that style, right? Or if you already have clothes, great. You know, you can basically skip this step. So once you have your clothes, just go to like Goodwill or something if you want to go a little bit cheaper. Or you know, Costco is actually really, really great. I actually have a lot of clothes from Costco or Target. Um, in fact, the entire outfit I'm wearing today, you know, a flannel and a sweater is from Costco and Target. So they're actually relatively cheap and they have really, really good clothing. Now, uh, I don't have much knowledge on this fast fashion kind of stuff and how it apparently is really bad for the environment. However, for me, I take care of my clothing and my clothing actually lasts a really, really long time. Even clothes that I had since like fifth grade still fit me now, right? And I still have them. So I never worried too much about sort of getting the right kind of clothing. However, it is important to note that quality does matter. It's okay to spend a couple more dollars, a couple ten, twenty dollars maybe, in order to getting a garment that lasts a longer time. It's just me personally, all my garments just last a long time, so it doesn't really matter to me personally. So the next step is to make sure that you don't have any sort of wrinkles or stains because first of all that's sort of unhygienic and kind of gross right you don't need me to tell you that and i know sort of ironing your clothes can be a lot of work right so here's a way to sort of get rid of the wrinkles of any clothing so simply just take the clothing and just spray it with like a spray bottle full of water and stuff and let it hang right you don't want it to get too wet so it's going to take forever to dry but just a little spritz here and there to wet and moisten everything up so once it does dry it becomes less wrinkly another thing that you can do is when you 
put your clothes in the dryer, you can actually toss a couple of ice cubes inside. Now, I personally never tried this and I'm not sure if your dryer will actually like explode. So maybe do your own research before just blindly listening to me. But apparently I heard it could, you know, sort of get rid of the wrinkles in your clothing. So that may be another method to do that. And just clean your clothes, be careful with your clothing, you know, in order to prevent any stains. Just don't be gross and actually clean your clothing properly. Now it's time to experiment. So, I mean, you have a lot of pants, you have a lot of socks, shirts, maybe jackets, shoes. Just go ahead, go crazy and experiment. Look in front of the mirror, wear different types of you know, tops, bottoms, all that kind of stuff. And just see what styles you like, pieces that you like and pieces that you don't really like. And just think of some styles that you can wear like on a weekly basis or something. Now, once you've done that, it may be hard to for sort of, you know, get into dressing differently because you may not feel as comfortable. But honestly, all you need to do to sort of feel comfortable in whatever clothes you wear. In fact, some of you may think I'm very uncomfortable in this, right? But I'm actually pretty comfortable because I'm actually used to wearing clothes like this. So, I mean, this is honestly as comfortable as joggers. Like I'm wearing jeans right now. I don't know if you can see it. And these honestly sort of feel like joggers to me because I just wear them so often. So once you wear them a couple times, two, three, four times, you'll start to get used to wearing, you know, different clothing. So now it's time to go out into the real world and just wear your clothing. And it may be pretty anxious at first because you're wearing something different, right? People are gonna notice, especially your friends and people who normally see you on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's totally fine that they may, may make fun of you for it, but I mean, it's fine, right? They're just friendly banter. And you may still feel a bit iffy on wearing it, but like I said before, it all comes with experience and practice, right? Because I mean, to be fair, I'm not gonna BS you. Some pieces that you're gonna wear, some outfits, they're gonna suck. They're gonna suck really badly, right? The colors are gonna be off. All that kind of stuff is just, uh, it isn't gonna look good. But some days you're gonna look really, really good and you're gonna, you're gonna get multiple compliments on all your, every aspect of your outfit, right? And again, it all comes down with experience. In fact, right now, I think what I'm wearing is kinda okay-ish. It could be better because, I mean, yeah, I have the flannel and collar and all that kind of stuff, right? But that flannel collar is kinda multi multicolor, it kinda clashes with the sweater. But I mean, I'm still making the video in front of you guys. So don't let your clothing sort of hold you back because I mean, all, if you do it well, it can really help you sort of become a more confident person, become more attractive in general, and just feel better, right? Because if you wear clothing that you like, you're obviously gonna feel better throughout the entirety of the day. In fact, there's some pieces of clothing that I absolutely love, such as, you know, I have these Chelsea boots they're absolutely wonderful. And honestly, whenever I wear them, I sort of get a little bit of happiness, <laughs> right? Now, if you have that sort of feeling with clothing, then that's great. That's totally a reason why you should start. And you can also sort of set goals with clothing, right? Like by this date, I will get enough money to buy this piece of clothing. I get this or this or this, right? And honestly, it, it can be really, really fun. It's a fun hobby for me. It might be a fun hobby for you. You never know if you don't try, right? But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully we'll dress better. So like starting tomorrow, dress better, wear something with a collar or something. And make sure to drink water though. Have a lovely rest of your day.